Well, hello everyone and welcome to the October tour on this uh, quite cool, damp morning. It's looking very autumnal, or if you're in America, fallumnal. And uh, we're kicking off as usual with the rhubarb bed, which is uh, quite collapsed now. Magnolias are still hanging in there. This time last year we'd had a frost, so everything was looking a bit mushy, but uh, we haven't had anything that cold as yet. So Tabery is still hanging on to its leaves. So we've got a couple of leeks over there that haven't bolted yet. They're usable. So I've added in a little new fence there with uh, another pot kind of matching the ones at the front. And we've got our strawberries, which are still they're still giving us something. If only we were actually taking it and eating it, but uh, usually the slugs are getting to them first. So I've got some spring onions in those five potato pots over there. We've got some uh, French beans that really don't have enough time to give us any beans, but they've just about got some flowers on them now. And both the courgettes are down. And we've got some in situ composting going on there. And we've got the uh, fruit bushes dying back. And we've just got some cover crops around the bottom. We've got some few strawberries in there as well. And we've hacked back the cover crop there, just letting the residues die down. On to the baths. This bath has been uh, had all its uh, soil removed and we've brought it closer to the edge here and uh, once the carrots are out of the uh, other bath that's going to get moved closer as well so we have a bit of space on Main Avenue for a pot which will have a probably a blueberry in it and we're holding on to some of the uh, runner beans we could be harvesting off them but uh, uh, we're actually letting them run so they can we can get some seed from them and we've got some spinach and mustard there our autumn king carrots some chard cover crops and a couple of lingering leeks some beetroot there Very sort of uh, got turnips and uh, kohlrabi's just come to the end of uh, we've used pretty much the ones we're going to use I think we've got some of the dark ones left cabbage is doing well we've got some new neighbors now who are going great guns they've got the uh, basically the two plots there so uh, they're nice folk always good to have nice folk beside you we're quite lucky on this site in that respect. So we've got cover crops. Might have garlic in there as well. I never knew, know what uh, Mrs. Soil and Toil is up to sometimes when I'm uh, dealing with uh, the grass and various things like that. So the tail end of the lettuce, more cover crops. Our peach peregrine doing its thing, doing way too much of a thing really. So as I mentioned in my previous video, I'm uh, uh, going to be putting little beds on either side of the compost areas. This is going to be for um, sunflowers for Nick's allotments challenge for next year. Hopefully get in on that one. See if we can actually grow something of a decent size. And the uh, corral and shed are looking pretty much as normal. Poor little globe artichoke flower just uh, gave up the ghost. Can't say I'm surprised really. So I moved the garlic chives out of the bath. Um, not the whole bath at home, but the one here. And uh, that is it, its new location. Just in front of Waldo, our thornless blackberry. 
Cosmos still hanging on in there. Pond's looking nice and full, but still no sign of any wildlife. So I've put the cover onto the uh, bench now. Although there have been some days that uh, would have been useful to have sat on it, but uh, I think we're pretty much into the uh, chill of autumn now. Uh, so I'm loving the, the, the uh, pluots growth this year, it's fantastic. So I've narrowed up this path already as the uh, area on the right um, where the wallflowers are. Um, this little strip here is going to be a sort of two by eight bed for uh, some uh, super columnar minaret uh, plums. And we're gonna have a row of strawberries and then get some raspberries in at the back. That might, some of that might have happened by the next video. Okay, the sweet corn have been chopped down and we've got some cover crops going on there and parsnips. So I'm going to swing around to Main Avenue so I can show you the, uh, the uh, reason why I've got a thumbnail about parsnaps. Uh, so this, uh, this little area here, we pulled up an absolute enormous parsnip, or at least it would have been <laughs> had I known how to take it out properly. Um, but uh, it went down deeper than I was expecting and uh, my twisting technique just simply snapped off a bit more of the uh, the route than I'd intended. So we got some um, field beans in there, cover crops. Tomatoes have come down and they've just been reduced so the residues are going into the soil. And we've got some Brussels sprouts. They're not as big as Monty Don's on his uh, last episode of Gardener's World of the Year last Friday. But we're hoping we'll get something out of them. He said he, they only had a couple more weeks and he'd be harvesting them. So, uh, hmm. I was thinking Christmas, so maybe about halfway between the two will be good. So the peppers are up and uh, they've been harvested and the plants have been chopped down. You can see what's left of one of them there. Again, just allowing it to be residues on the soil, just uh, protecting the soil. Uh, some spinach, which we're harvesting. Got some mustard around the front there with the chives and some dahlias. Still looking reasonable. I was just doing a quick visit today, so I haven't done any deadheading. So I put some uh, finials on top of these posts here. Just doing a few sort of little neatening up type jobs. And we're probably going to be doing a little bit of rearranging with the dahlias next year. Fruit trees are looking good still. Very pleased to have 100% success on those. So I'm probably going to put another fruit tree in where that uh, stump is. And the idea next year is to grow the squash up that obelisk. And we haven't uh, done the rearrangement yet for the rhubarb. We're just waiting for them to all die down. And this, this massive crown here is uh, going to get split up. And I've got quite a few people who are uh, wanting part of it, and I think it should be a good doer, as long as it likes their soil. So there we are. Hope everyone's keeping well, take care of yourself, and I will be seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.